Um, so I'll talk a little bit about the tools that are available. Um, this is by no means an exhaustive slide, of, you know, slide of tools because there's so many things out here. Every day I get emails like, here's three new tools that are available. But I'm going to talk about the basic ones and the most popular ones and the ones you'll probably most likely be using in your day-to-day -day work. So for text generation, um, the most popular you know, probably is ChatGPT. It's made by a company called OpenAI. Um, They're the market leader right now. Um, and in my opinion, probably the best, um, depending on what, what you use it for. Um, Microsoft has a product called Copilot, which they use the OpenAI models behind the scenes, but they've, they've kind of added and took away some of the features that are available in the ChatGPT. Um, a lot of schools have this available to them as enterprise versions, um, so they can get that security um, guarantee, I guess, uh, when they're using Copilot. And Microsoft's also branding Copilot into all of these other products that they've got. So Office 365, there, there's a version of Copilot for each of the programs. There's a Copilot for Excel, Copilot for Word, so Copilot for Outlook, so on and so forth. Um, Anthropic has a product called Claude, which is a very, very good um, um, generative AI model. Um, there's a lot of, of benchmarks that have put it at the top of the list, um, but it, you know, it, it hasn't reached the popularity that ChatGPT has. Um, Google, of course, is going to be in the game. They've got their product called Gemini, also very good, um, but they've they've lagged behind a little bit. And then, of course, Elon Musk, and he's got, a, X has their own version called Grok, which um, I've never used, but apparently is pretty decent. They, because it's X, they've taken off a lot of the guardrails that other models have on them. So you're able to get, do some things in there that you're not able to do on others, which is, you know, can sometimes be a bad thing. Um, and, and they're not not as uh, concerned about the truth sometimes. Uh, you know, all AI, all AI models are, are going to have issues with the truth from time to time, but certain ones are worse than others. Um, from an image generating standpoint, um, ChatGPT just had a new image generator come out um, that used to be called Dolly. Now it's just kind of integrated with ChatGPT. This is like a month ago now. Excellent. You know, I think it is now the best image generator. Um, so all of the images in this slide I've generated with ChatGPT and they're all kind of related to each other and it did a good job of keeping them consistent in the, the look and feel. And it's getting the spelling correct now. It used to have a lot of problems with spelling. Um, now it's pretty good. Gemini has this image Gen 3, um, also very good. Midjourney was kind of the, you know, that was the pinnacle of image generation. Kind of difficult to use. Also a separate subscription. I think more people are trying to, to just use ChatGPT if they're already paying for it, you know, use the, the image generator built in to that too. That's my take on it. Uh, but Adobe Firefly, also another, another good product. And there's, like I said, many, many others. Um, each of these, you know, there's going to be a free version and there's going to be a paid version. I have found that paid version is going to get give you better information. Um, sometimes you'll get the same models with the free version as the paid version, but you may only get a certain amount of requests per day or something like that. Um, I know ChatGPT is fairly limited. Um, Claude, a lot of times you can't even use the free version because they everybody's trying to use it and they they really try to push everybody to the paid version. Um, same with uh, like like mid journey if you're using images, you kind of have to use the paid version on that one. Otherwise, they just don't let you do anything with the free version. But again, paid is always better than free um, in this landscape, unfortunately. Uh,